off with team MVP, Ethan. I'm going to swing it to you. Who do you think is going to be the MVP for the Spurs this year? I'm going to have to go with DeJounte Murray. He got 27-7 and in the Rockets game. He has the most experience as far as working in the offense and being that defensive anchor in the San Antonio Spurs system. Uh, he's an ISO bucket, and you know usually that translates to being the leader of the team. I, I, I don't, I'm not in the locker room. I don't know if that's Derek or you know whoever, but Dejounte to me has the most at his disposal to improve his statistical game the most. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like he has the best chance, in my opinion, to be an All Star level player this year. He's a guy that can easily get 27 and seven. You know, like that was that's just in his wheelhouse. He can do that on any given night. And with DeMar, you know, not being there to close out games, I think DeJounte has the the best bag to kind of emulate that DeMar DeRozan role that we will be missing. So I'm going to go with DeJounte Murray. I want to disagree with you, Ethan. Like I want to give our fans some variety here. But for me, Mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Um, The one thing that I'll mention is just once again, his summer. DeJounte is going to go like he is going to be super motivated this year every single game he's the guy I mean he really is I know Derek's getting paid more than him technically but watching these games and you guys even talked about it there's a difference when DeJounte Murray isn't on the floor with this team versus when he is and the dog that he has in him his defensive effort every single play the fact that he's the most tenured spur on the roster as well it's going to be him. You mentioned he has the most potential for stat growth and therefore, because unfortunately stats are the main thing when it comes to the all-star game, I think he also has the highest chance of potentially being an all-star this year. And I think, and I don't want to get Spurs fans hopes up too much because, you know, we we could always get snubbed from the all-star game. You know, we're not a big market money team right now and we don't have a a ton of superstars that that people know of yet. But (laughs) anyway... (laughs) Anyways, but going back to DeJounte, I think that there is a legit shot um, if he gets up to around the 20 point range, that 27 and seven range, you know, Shea Gilgis, Alexander kind of type numbers. I think that he can be an all star this year because he's somebody who's respected around the league. Not only is he close with LeBron, but also, I mean, he's a guy who's made the all defensive team first team before. Um, I, I believe it may have it might have been second team. But point is, the league has given DeJounte awards before where nobody else on the Spurs roster has really had that. Um, but he has had that. So I think he has the highest chance to be an all-star, just like you said. So Fat Boy's saying he's got to limit the turnovers and get shot better. But hey, I think we've seen consistent improvement from that throughout the preseason. I know it's not the regular season, but still they're trying to play together. And that last game looked really good. I'm glad we're only playing the magic to start before we have to go play that gauntlet on the weekend. But um, hopefully we can see a a pretty good complete game on Wednesday from those guys. And and DeJounte, I believe, is going to be the leader this year. Anything else on DeJounte before we move on? I didn't know. I got nothing. His shot looks good. 